Hey, how are you? Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, it's been a while since I made one. And I just want to talk to you guys about this pack here. This is the Osprey Stratos 24. Uh, I've had it for a little while now. I've got some miles on it, so I feel I'm at a spot where I can weigh in on it. I am not going to go through all the particulars and the specs and the weight and stuff like that. Because, uh, quite frankly, there's better statisticians on YouTube than I am. Osprey's website probably being one of them. REI, whatever you want to look it up, just Google that. It's way better than me telling it to. So I'll probably get it wrong anyway. But what I won't get wrong are my own thoughts on it. So, Stratus for only four. Good pack. Good pack. Typical Osprey quality. It's pretty bomber. Pretty bomber. Uh, side pockets. Easily hold a Nalgene bottle. No problem at all. Maybe you have to be a slight contortionist or not have old shoulders like I do to get to them. But it's accessible without taking the pack off. No doubt. They're deep. I don't worry about the bottle coming out. Um, this back panel with the gap there. You know, everybody's seen this. I like it. I like it. I don't like a sweaty back. Um, is this the lightest pack going? No. Does that push the weight away from me? Sure. But it's a day pack. It's not the end of the world. Uh, if I was carrying heavy loads in it, it would be a concern. For a day pack, it's not an issue. What do I have in there? Maybe rain gear, jacket, some food for me, myself, food for uh, Buddy the Wonder Dog there. That's pretty much the long and short of it. A couple things, I, a couple caveats I should say. So one that I could take or leave, right, is this inner mesh pocket here, right? And this is, I'm nitpicking. These are straight nitpicks, but these are just my thoughts. Makes it a little bit tedious to get to the water bladder, right? Is that a huge deal? Uh, probably not, right? If this was a pack uh, that you were gonna be using for uh, trail runs, Spartan races, stuff like that, where you might be filling that bladder up often, it would be an issue. But that those packs are generally not going to have this. You know, they're going to be bare bones. They're going to be light. You know, keep that in mind. So there's that. I don't like that. But again, that's a nitpick because really, I fill the bladder up. I put the bladder in. I move about my day. But every time I do do it, it, it just chaps me a little bit. The other thing, and that's, this is this is going to be for all these packs with an internal bladder, is depending on your bladder, I'm running an Osprey one and a half liter. I, I like their bladders. I like them better than Source. I like them better than Camelback. Um, I've had good luck with them. I enjoy them. Probably rotating through three of them now in, diff in different setups, the Osprey bladders. You're going to lose a little volume there. Is it a huge deal? For me, no. No, uh, but depending on what you do. So if you go with a significant other with a spouse and you're the guy that's carrying the stuff, right? Uh, especially in the winter, it might be an issue because not everybody is gonna have, you know, uh, well, this is actually rain gear, but not everybody, especially if they're, they're new to the outdoors, new to hiking, they may not have a, a small puffer jacket, right? So they might have just a regular jacket doesn't pack down small it's going to take up some space so knowing that uh, if, if you need a little more volume not so much for the weight but just just for volume for clothing and stuff it, it potentially could be a little small but again these are real specific circumstances very very specific generally speaking this thing is wonderful inside it holds everything I need so what do I have in there now I don't have a whole lot because it's you know I'm in Northeast PA, it's getting warm out. This would be generally my, my kit, right? So, what do I have? A toilet paper, God forbid, man. But I'm not leaving without it. A random bag probably held hard boiled eggs for my dog. That's in there. Uh, rain jacket, right? Which is going to get replaced with a poncho. Yeah, but rain jacket, I have it in there. So, that's what's in the main pack right there. That's what I keep. Uh, and I'll add a puffer jacket. Yeah, you know, if, if it's going to be cooler. Uh, right now, I'm not because it's been quite warm and you were headed in the summer, so it's going to be foreseeable future. It's going to be warm. 
So I, I generally leave that in the car, the truck. But in the fall, spring, winter, yeah, I'll throw a puffer jacket in there if I'm not wearing it. So that's what I keep in there. In the main pack, what do I have? Small knife, falk knife, and fire steel. I don't leave home without it. I like to keep it in there. That's what I keep in there. Uh, and then small kit. So what do we have in here? We have SWAT tourniquet, some compressed gauze, a couple other odds and ends. Right? Is this the greatest tourniquet? No. Probably not, right? Uh, but does it do double duties? Maybe a compression bandage? Is, 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 it, is it better than none? I'm going to go with a yeah on that. Uh, if you want to carry something different, feel free. Uh, I'm just going to carry this. I make these little kits up. I vacuum seal them. Boom. Put a little notch on here so you can tear them open. Cut a little notch. Throw it in a pack. Stash them all over the place. Right? It's cheap insurance. Makes me feel good. Hopefully, I never need it. But uh, you know, it doesn't. It m makes me feel comfortable. This zipper goes all the way up. It goes all the way up there. And then this comes down. Covers it up nice. Quite nice. This is the Go Trek and Pole System. Uh, you know, I'll stow trekking poles on there. Do I use trekking poles? I really don't. Uh, on occasion, the reason I don't use trekking uh, trekking poles is is behind me. So the overwhelming majority of the time, at least in the beginning of, of uh, day hikes and stuff, uh, I'm gonna have pup on a leash. Kind of makes trekking poles a little, a little bit trickier. Uh, do I use them on occasion? For sure. Do I carry them with me more than I use them? I do that a lot. I do that a lot. The bladder setup on this is okay. You know, and I understand why companies do this. That hose just comes out the middle. Would I prefer it to come out over the shoulder? I would. Uh, you know, I understand it's going to be a, an increased cost in the manufacturing. And I get it. So I'm willing to, to live with that caveat, uh, that, that water bladder, that hydration bladder coming out over the side. The sizing's good. Sternum strap. It's good. I like it. It's fine. It's a sternum strap. Does what one's supposed to do. Uh, it's okay. You know, in, in a perfect world where I like a sternum strap that doesn't ride on this um, track, I would. I'd rather have one that, that is, is uh, like a, a, a Savota pack uh, that I can move from spot to spot to spot. But that's me. In some of that is an oversight. I had a hydration pack where this popped off on me. And good luck getting it back on. It's an absolute nightmare, and that's if you can. Uh, but, again, that's probably just something that happened to me that I'm reacting to. Is that a normal thing? Uh, I'm going to say no. This is a, the, everybody's got an Osprey pack or a pack with a setup like this, and they don't have issues. I just caught it on something in a race and ripped it out, couldn't get it back on. So that's my perceived bias against this pack would be that sternum strap. But overall, it's killer. Shoulder straps are padded enough. Um, they're good. It's a day pack. It's fine. It's fine. The one thing I really like about it, it's got an actual hip belt. I like that. Uh, even though I'm carrying super lightweight in it, you know, maybe lunch, the hip belt is killer. It's killer. The straps, where they go through the slots, are nice. It's tidy. I like that. Uh, the pockets are okay. Are you going to fit an iPhone 14 in there? I don't own an iPhone 14, but I've seen them, and I'm going to say that is a no-go. You're not going to fit it, that in there. I have a 13 Mini, uh, which will, but that's the reason I got a 13 Mini, because it fits in these pockets. And not just this, but on a lot of your day packs, smaller packs, these big phones have gotten to the point where I almost carrying a tab, but well, they don't want to fit anywhere. So I like that. I like that uh, the, you know, the hip belt is excellent. Um, couple things I would like on the hip belt, and these are personal preferences, I would like a grommet in the bottom for drainage. The reason I would like a grommet in the bottom for drainage is very simply right here, right? Water ball for Buddy. I'll throw it in there, crumple it up. I shake it out, beat it off a rock, whatever. But there's always a little bit of water in there. I kind of like that to drain. Is it a big deal? It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Would I prefer it? I would. Uh, in fact, I might end up going eventually and just punching a hole in there and putting a grommet in myself, at least in this left side pocket. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, 
or I'll just leave the thing alone and go about life, right? But I might. We'll see. We'll see how much free time I get. This pocket, same thing. It's awesome. What do I carry in here? Lighter and some tape. A little Swiss Army knife. Coincidentally, hiker. And a silver compass I've been using for 30 some years. So that's in there. Some type of compass I like. I just happen to have this one because, well, quite frankly, it's been around a minute. And it still it points me in the right direction, right? Uh, so that's what I have in there. And that, you know, to add to that, you know you're getting old when you're, some of your gear is 30 years old and you've been using it for that long, 30 plus. So that's what I carry in that pocket. So my overall impression is this pack is a win. It's a win. And for the price, go get your Amazon price, right? You know, just Google it. They're going to come up with something good for you. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong for the money. I really don't. I always carry a beaner. Always have a beaner on me. I'm one of my occupations is I'm a tree guy, so I mean, this is a Pets Land It's a tri lock. Good beaner. Why do I carry the carabiner? Right there. So that's one of those things hiking, running, camping with dogs. Carabiner's excellent. Hook them up to a tree, wrap the leash on it, clip, clip. Stream crossing, especially when he's young. Uh, maybe I want to tether him to me. You get an exposed rock outcropping, right? You get a spot where, man, this guy, you know, he goes off the edge here. It's not a survivable drop for, for man uh, nor beast, right? Take that leash, tether him to me. Yeah, yeah. Right here makes me feel good about things. In particular, the stream crossing, stuff like that, where uh, yeah, he's probably just gonna swim downstream and get out, but I know me, I'm gonna end up going in there after him, and I'd rather not do that. So I just hook him up. Can't go wrong with having a carabiner. Great pack, can't say enough about it. Enough good things about it. Typical Osprey quality. It's bomb proof. Uh, resist your garden variety rain like we're starting to get now and, you know, quick downpour, stuff like that. Good to go. It's got a pack cover in there. It's whatever. It doesn't much matter to me. Uh, I think pack covers end up. Everything gets wet anyway with a pack cover. You're better off with a poncho or. My uh, my rain gear and my puffer jacket are in dry bags in here. The, the crucial stuff goes in a little dry bag. Two reasons. One, it keeps it dry. And two, I can compress it pretty good. Uh, and they're affordable. They're affordable, the, these lightweight ones. Would I want to throw them in the river uh, and come back tomorrow? No, it's not a coated, it, it's not a coated uh, you know, heavy duty nylon dry bag from REI, right? It's not necessarily what, it, what it's designed for. This is going to be good for downpours, rain, stuff like that, for sure. You're going to be good to go on that. So if you're thinking about it, go with it. Can't go wrong. Spend the money on it. It's not a lot of money. I'm going to say this is a heck of a value for what you get compared to some Under Armour piece of crap or uh, some Walmart backpack or something like that. That's you know, This thing is a win. It's a win. Hydration, decent. Routing is eh, so-so. But other than that... You know, other than those little nitpicks, can't go wrong with this thing. You're going to love it. And now I would say that for really any of the Osprey products I have. And I think I have uh, about four of them in, in regular use, in, in regular, you know, depending on you know, what activity or event I happen to be doing. Um, it's a great company, good brand. You know, I have no experience with the warranty because I never had to warranty anything. That's the best part about it company's warranty is not needing the warranty go with it appreciate it thanks for watching roger that.